What's up Taylor Gang and welcome back to my channel. So by the title of today's video, you know I'm going to be doing a neutral alternative Valentine's Day look. I decided to go against the norm and do something more neutral and toned down because my last video was an all pink look and I didn't want to do multiple pink looks back to back. So if you want a pink Valentine's Day look, um, I will link that video up in the cards right now. So you can go watch that and learn how I did that eyeshadow look. So for this video, um, I toned it down a lot more. It's very simple. I used about three, four eyeshadows. It didn't take long at all. It looks way more complicated and intricate than it really is. And I hope you guys are interested in seeing it. Also, while I'm doing my makeup in this video, I will be telling you guys my perfect Valentine's Day ideal dates as well as date ideas for you all as well as gift ideas for you guys as well my top three favorite perfumes and colognes if you're looking for something to buy for the special guy in your life the special lady in your life whomever i do give you guys my top favorite perfumes and colognes in this video as well be sure to thumbs up this video comment below if you like it give me a video suggestion leave me an emoji i don't really care what you leave me but leave me something okay and be sure to subscribe before you leave if you're new um and i hope you enjoy the video let's get into it yeah i like that i feel like i look like a mobster's wife or um like giving me real mexican cartel vibes but anyway so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the eyeshadow. So for this look, I'm just going to do something more neutral and just like I feel more grown and sexy. I'm, I'm fucking lying. I'm going to do something more neutral. I don't know if it's going to be grown and sexy because I don't know what I'm doing. But I know in my last video, my whole look was pink. So I didn't feel like I needed to redo a pink look. So I want to do something else with like just some browns and stuff. It's going to be something real simple. And while I do that, I'm just going to give you guys my ideal uh, Valentine's Day date ideas and uh, my Valentine's gift ideas. So it's going to be real simple. This video is going to be really quick. I just wanted to get this out for you guys for Valentine's Day, before Valentine's Day, to give you guys some ideas on what you should do what you should get how you well not how you should look but how you should do your makeup and yeah so let's get it we're just gonna do something simple okay i've never used this before so for this look i'm gonna go ahead and use the saharan by juvia's place um i don't think i use this one like that really so i'm gonna just take this morphe m441 and i'm gonna go in with uh Katsina. And then we're just going to use this as our transition shade. Actually, this isn't our transition shade. I'm just going to put this in my crease. I'm going to try to make this look as simple and as quick as possible because this isn't even like just a going all out type pink look. This is just for those of us who's really going to be chilling. You're not trying to do that much on Valentine's Day. Or if you're not even in the Valentine's Day mood, <laughs> you know, you can just wear this to work or to wherever you're going to celebrate. And you guys let me know in the comments what you guys are doing to, I guess, celebrate. Do, do, is, it, is it celebrate Valentine's Day? Let me not act like it's Christmas. But to, I guess, I don't know. What are you doing on Valentine's Day, girl? That's what I want to know. Tell me in the comments. And be sure to share this video, you guys. Like, if you share the video, you watch it on Facebook or something. Watch it on Facebook. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Watch the video on YouTube. Link it to your Facebook and share it with all your Facebook friends so that our channel can grow. And we can have more people in our gang, period. So now that's in our crease, let me start talking about my ideal Valentine's Day date. And it's crazy because I really don't know what my ideal Valentine's Day date would be. Actually, I do. <sighs> okay, let me start off. In the perfect world, first of all, I love hotels i love hotels i don't know why i like hotels so much 
I just love them. They, I love the way they smell. I love the way they look. I love the sheets. I love the bathrooms. I love the room service. I love the room service. I think that's why I like hotels so much because it's like, boom, it's like Uber Eats in your house though. You know, like you don't even gotta go downstairs to get it. Ugh. Yeah. I love hotels. So my perfect ideal date, this is just a date period because I wouldn't even need this on Valentine's Day. You can give me this on a Wednesday, baby. Like I'll take this on the weekend. I'll take this on a Saturday. So hotel, I have to get a hotel. Like, oh, let's say I'm trying to imagine like go to the hotel okay you go to the hotel we don't even have to go out to dinner because like i said i love room service so maybe a little room service you know action then we're just going to get some like massages let's get some massages yes let's do some massages and then let's go somewhere like the aquarium or something i'm thinking about atlanta like get a hotel downtown and then go to the aquarium you know and then come back to the hotel or even after the aquarium we can go to dinner somewhere downtown a nice dinner uh, anything involving food with me is just the one you know like i'm there i'm excited i'm ready i love food <laughs> especially when i don't have to cook it we just had this place open downtown called Candytopia. That would be nice. Why am I talking like that? Would be nice, Candytopia. Yeah, and then go back to the hotel and spend the night. And then, yeah, that would be an ideal date for me. Valentine's Day, a nice hotel setting, spa, like get some massages, have some room service, and watch movies and smoke some weed. <laughs> <laughs> you can't forget the weed. No, I'm just playing. Let me stop playing. I could do without the weed for the day, I guess. But anyway, so that would be ideal for me. Like, just something chill, relaxing. Like, I'm not necessarily the type of person that has to be out. I don't need to be around people. I really don't like people like that, you know? So I don't need to be around people. We don't have to go to a concert. We don't have to go to a fancy restaurant or anything like that. Like, I'm good. If the ambiance is right and the vibe is right and the setting and the, and the food is good and the person is right, then it's just gonna be a lit date. So my first date idea for valentine's day for you guys if you live in atlanta is candytopia it'll probably be packed on valentine's day that just seems like something people would want to do on valentine's day um i don't know what the hell it is but it's a bunch of candy okay so it looks like it's fun and i feel like that is a really good idea that's so cute all right so i just took Katsina and Jamila in my crease and I'm about to find a darker brown. Let's go in the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. And then we're gonna take a smaller Morphe brush and put uh, a deeper brown in my outer corner just a little bit. I don't know, like, I don't really like know the ideal day idea for everybody but i know me and i really like my own personal space and i really like if i'm with somebody on a date i really want to be able to be as in tune with them as possible and not really be so engulfed in whatever is going around me it's like i'm a fat ass y'all everything i do everything i do on a date incorporates food okay that's a given for me like you have to feed me for me to even pull up like i'm not coming if if food is not involved period so those are my date ideas like an aquarium a museum stuff like that is really cute and really different and it's not as like typical as a restaurant or 
the movie. But if you want adventure, I suggest doing some stuff like that. Like we have like a, I think it's called I Sky, so you can skydive. We got the Adventure Air Sports Place. That's just a, a building filled with trampolines. Um, I love going bowling. I love bowling. Like a bowling date is a good date. Make sure they got a bar if you're over 21. So, you know, y'all can get drunk. Duh. And um, yeah, have fun. Laser tagging, shit like that. Probably I'm going to take the shade. What shade was it? Lulu? Was it Lulu? I'm going to take the shade Lulu in the Saharan palette and I'm going to just put that all over my lid where like this area is. Before I do that, I'm going to take a little concealer and just pat it so I can clear out the space where the shadow is so the color can be a little more prominent on my lid. It don't have to be perfect. All right, so what did I say I was gonna take? I'm about to take this Morphe M124 brush. I have a lot of Morphe brushes. I have a lot of fucking Morphe brushes. And I'm gonna take Lulu. I'm gonna put it on here dry first. Let's see. She's like more pinky though. I want to do some um, Miss Fairy here. I'm going to take Lulu again. Because I want this to still be a little more muted and not so um, intense on the eyes. I still want this to be like a real nice, sultry, simple look. So, the Anastasia shimmer really made this pop and a lot more popping than I wanted, but that is a-okay because we are just going to blend out the edges. So, to blend out the edges, I'm going to take Sienna and Rustic again, just a little bit and just place that right there. More sienna than rustic because I want to keep this a little light. I don't want it to get dark up here. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go in with a little wing liner. I'm going to do this not talking, most likely just cut this whole clip because I don't know how this is going to turn out and I've got to get really close to the mirror and I'm not going to be able to focus. So I will be right back when this is over and we can pick out some lashes okay all right you guys so i did the liner and now we're about to pick some lashes pop those on and then complete the face um let me know in the comments if you like this look i just came up with this off the top of my hair obviously what am i saying as you guys know i do have my own lash line lash company and i am currently in the middle of rebranding and relaunching my whole entire company as y'all know as i've stated before we will be having hair coming soon um and including with hair i am doing all new lash styles so i have been testing out lashes that i may or may not put on my site and today i am going to test out a new pair so um for this look if you want to go like more natural lash, that'll look cute. You can even scrap the black liner and just do straight lash if you want to do a more natural lash. Um, I'm not really into a natural lash, so I'm going to go with something that I like, which is more dramatic. So I think I'm going to pick. This one, you got so cute. Okay, this one goes out. Those look like fun every day, every day. Well, not every day. I think I'm gonna go 
with these. So these are the lashes that I'm yeah. So these are the lashes that I am going to go with today. They're more dramatic, they're fluffy. These are 5B lashes. If you can see, they are 5B, you guys. So as I stated while I was doing my eyes, uh Valentine's Day date ideas, but I do want to give you guys Valentine's gift ideas as well, or just my ideal gifts that I would give. Um, you know, if this guy is your uh, boyfriend of a long time, if you guys are just talking, y'all just started hanging out and you know, y'all kind of feeling each other. I feel like the gift that I would go with for any guy, any occasion, but this is Valentine's Day, birthdays, Christmas, anything, you guys. My top gift idea for a guy is going to be cologne. Okay. You can just never go wrong with buying somebody something that is just going to make them smell better. My top three guy perfumes, and I'm not really into guy perfumes like that. I don't know all of them. Like These are just the three that I know off the top of my head that I like how they smell off the top of my head. And these three you can, all, you can get from Sephora or um, Macy's or Ulta, I think has these. Um, I know, or you can get them from like the perfume, like Emporium places that have like, buy one get one 50 percent off or they just have like these discounted um colognes so if you don't want to spend you know what they're charging is for try a perfume emporium or whatever so my top three um i actually got my brother this cologne for christmas and that is the dior dior is it dior that's not the one i'm talking about it is ugh. The cologne I got my brother for Christmas is the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue for Men. Um, I really like the smell. I can't remember what the shit smell like, but it smelled good, y'all, okay? Like, these are all the scents that I would want to smell if I was smelling a man. You know what I'm saying? So, D, not Dior. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue for Men. Um, it was probably about $60, $65. Um, I know they have it at Sephora smells amazing we got one lash on you guys so <laughs> this lash is really dramatic <laughs> this lash is really dramatic and look at what a lash can do like i have to push this up because it's looking kind of crazy right now but don't worry if it doesn't look too good we can just use another lash these are like really dramatic and the only reason why i might take them off is because i describe this look as something simple and i don't want to take away from the simple simpleness of the eye with these really dramatic lashes so i am going to go ahead and change these lashes even though they are absolutely beautiful um i mean absolutely beautiful i can't wait to wear these on a day where i'm trying to go for that look but i don't want to take away from this look being referred to as simple and neutral with such heavy lashes. So new lash style, we're gonna go with these today. Like, well, we're going with these. Let's try these on. So my second favorite cologne, I'm not really going in order like top three, but these, like, these are my top three, but they all smell equally as good. So just find whichever one you like the best if you're gonna go with this and then buy it so my second favorite is gonna be damn what the hell was the name of it i forgot the damn name of this one the exact name of this one but i'm going to look it up put it on the screen it is by prada and it's in a silver bottle with uh like red trimming and this one is around the same price as the dolce and gabbana light blue so right. let's try this last shit again Hopefully my video is still recording. That was so chaos if it wasn't. All right, so lashes are on. I did put on this second style that I picked out. And so we're just gonna finish the phase. So for concealer, I'm gonna take the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. I love this concealer. I am in the shade medium three to highlight i still haven't got the fenty beauty concealer i know i'm so late and i call myself rihanna navy <laughs> um but i am gonna get it y'all i swear i swear i'm gonna get it please don't kick me out the damn navy 
because I ain't got it yet. But I'm going to get it and let me know in the comments or in, on my Instagram um, if you guys want to see me review or test out or whatever. I know they have been out for over a month, so it's plenty of videos online about them. But if you want to see me do it or if you just want to see me try it out on camera, I would love to. And I will for you guys, so just let me know, okay? It's awesome on my damn contact, okay? And y'all know... I like to cream contour with the Anastasia Stick Foundation as well. I use foundation because that is where I need the most coverage and it seems like when I put concealer on top of my foundation, it doesn't really last, you know, and I need coverage right there. So me blending it out kind of messes up the concealer. So I need as much coverage as I can get in this area because these are the problem areas of my face where I have my hyperpigmentation. Just love me some setting powder, honey. Like, I always want to find a really good setting powder. So, to set my face and my under eye, what am I doing? I am going to go. Ooh, I am going in with the Patrick Star MAC powder, even though it is now all over my desk. We're going to use that. We sure are. I, the only thing I don't like about this powder is this whole setup. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know why this doesn't have a fucking top on it. It just doesn't make any sense. I didn't want to wear my pink wig today because we're not doing a pink look. And I just had a pink wig on, so I'm not trying to do that. A closure wig is way less maintenance anyway. Like It literally would have taken me... 30 minutes to put on my pink wig and it took me like less than 10 to put on this wig <laughs> to actually to take this wig off and put it back on it took less than 10 minutes and it took even less time to style it I just put my hair in like the quickest most like the quickest easiest um uh, curls with the curling wand if you guys like this style I don't really do my hair on my channel anymore I have like a hair video from a long time ago when I first started my channel um, but I don't really do my hair on my channel like that anymore but if you guys want to see me do my hair on my channel let me know I do know how to do my hair so I have absolutely no problem doing it I did go to cosmetology school so I do a little something you know what I'm saying um, I'm getting way more into wigs. Why am I? What is this a life update? I'm supposed to be talking to y'all about damn Valentine's Day. Um, let me stay focused. What an odd smell. I've never, I've never smelled that before. Ew. Before I'm putting my powder on my skin, I am tapping it off on the back of my hand. So it's not as caked up because we don't want that, okay? We don't want that. I also don't want no powder on my damn contact, so I have to, ew. I, I guess I really like celebrity fragrances. Um, for guys, I like designer fragrances. So I like Onika by Nicki Minaj. I love Ariana Grande's perfumes. Um... They all smell good. Uh, my favorite is probably Moonlight and Ari. I could show you guys this stuff, but I ran out and I need to go get myself some more actually. So I'm telling you guys what I like to buy. Um, I like, I love the way Moonlight smells. I'm just taking my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. Love the way Moonlight smells. Um, love the way Ari smells. She doesn't, I love the way Sweet Like Candy smells. She doesn't have a bad perfume, y'all. Like, literally, they all smell really good. And really just, like, light and nothing is too harsh. Onika, I don't like any, like, harsh old lady smelling perfumes. Every perfume I'm going to name is something that smells amazing. And I'm not going to, I don't think anybody would dislike these smells is what I'm trying to say. Like, they smell really good. Um, 
So next I'm gonna take my beauty blitter and just go under my contour. After I just set my face, I used to just go straight into uh, under baking and straight into setting my cream contour with my contour powder, but I learned that, not learned, I just started uh, setting my face with my Sephora Micro Smooth first, um, just because I want to make sure that uh, it's not patchy. I was finding that like when I was putting on my contour powder, um, it was coming out just a little patchy. Um, so for contour powder, I am using my Anastasia contour oh powder bronzer in the shade cappuccino for reference it looks like this the sun is going down my lips are itchy as fuck and let's go ahead and blend out this powder because wooey we looking like a white woman okay we do not want that we do not want that so I'm going to contour my nose and then I am going to powder my face again just to bring some color back in it and then we can get into our under eye and we can finish off this video. I love the Kat Von D Saint and Center perfumes. They both smell amazing. So, I mean, if you want to get both of them, get both. If you want to just do one, um, do one. I think you should get both. They both smell so good. One is a little more, uh, what is the word? I'm not really good at describing perfumes because I'm not a perfume connoisseur. So I don't really know the correct scents and stuff. But one is a little more dark. Um, and more more nighttime than the other obviously that's going to be the center the saint i wore during the day and it just smells so good like it smells so good i got a lot of compliments i get a lot of compliments when i wear it so i am going to go ahead with this under eye business let's get into this under eye says we're just going to smoke out the under eye and y'all know when i do this i just use the colors that i used on the top on the back Put on some moles. I always add my moles back because um, they go away when, you, when I put on foundation. So I, I got a beauty mark right there and then a mole right here. So I add those two and then I just put random moles everywhere else. Put one over her because that's a pimple. Ooh. I love putting one on the side of my nose for some reason. Cute. Love putting one above the brow. Mm. That's good. I like that one. So let's give us some spray of some Fix Plus. Mm, hold on. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Why are you doing me like that? <laughs> All right, you guys. So I am Ben Neck. This look looks so good. Close my eyes so y'all can see. <laughs> All right, so we're about to choose a lip and put on some highlight. I never put on blush, but I'm gonna go ahead and put on this blush real quick and actually I'm going to mix two blushes. I'm going to mix the Milani Luminoso Baked Powder Blush and I'm going to mix the NYX Duo Chrome. What is this again? Duo Chromatic. This is a blush. Okay. And this is in Synthetica. Where's my little blush brush? I'm going to put on some blush because it's Valentine's Day. I'm not really a blush girl because I haven't like 
really found the right blush for me, you know? Like, I see people put on blush, and I'm like, I can tell they just put on some fucking blush. Like, when I put on blush, it's like, did you even put on any damn blush, girl? I don't even be seeing it. Like, I see the shimmer, because these both are illuminating blushes. That's why I like them. Um... whatever all right so for highlight i'm gonna just go i'm trying to use something i don't use often <sighs> okay i'll just use this maybelline master chrome or do i want to use my girl my boo the jacqueline oh my god y'all let me tell you about my jacqueline hill becca champagne pop damn highlight why in the world you guys is this the second one that i have bought and it's broke again like it's i don't even want to talk about it y'all want to know how niggas be lying never mind uh, I don't even want to talk about it. We'll just use Champagne Pop in the inner corner as well. I love an inner corner highlight, sis. Ooh. I just feel like inner corner highlight is that bitch. <laughs> Period. Period. Okay. For a lip, y'all know what? This is where I just really get confused. Because I will put on a damn lipstick and hate it y'all hey, where's my ring yeah that shit all the way over there okay. i'm gonna just use this i'm going to use this maybelline vivid matte liquid and nude thrill i use this in my um full face of maybelline video that i did like last year i'm only gonna put like a little bit and just pat it press it together because I would prefer the more glossier look let's take some brown liner here All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video and this look. Um, this can also just be for any day, any occasion, any date, whatever. Um, this is just an alternative look for Valentine's Day. It literally didn't take long at all. As you guys saw, I think I used, what, four different shadows, maybe even three. So um, it looks really good. The skin looks good. Everything looks great. Um, I hope you guys like the video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe before you leave if you haven't subscribed. Like I said earlier, be sure to share this video with all your friends, your families, your enemies, you know, your homegirls, your boyfriends, side niggas, whoever, um, just so our channel can grow. And leave me a video suggestion below. As always, my <coughs> voice is crying. As always, my social media handles will be on the next screen after this one. Be sure to follow me on those and be sure to shop my brand when we relaunch. Follow us on Instagram. I will put that across the screen. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.